Hello everyone, welcome back to the Phone Museum. Today, we are going to look at Dolcin F22 Pro basic apps. Before that, if you are wondering, can you use it right now, then you can check the previous video I will post on the card on the right top. So, after that, let's go with this little phone button. When you click the phone button, it will pop up this old core histories. And from call history, uh, you can click to see the missed call and a call. And but if you do the long press, then it will bring up to the the number pad. But thing is, from the home screen, you can type number. Then it's automatically type number for you. So it's kind of mm, it's like press hold is kind of necessary. I'm not sure. I wish they put the future that if I press and hold, then it's automatically call the, the previous call. That would be better, but also I'm thinking that maybe I was I thought the previous call was from the A, but actually it's from the B. Then maybe it was a little hassle as well. So I don't know. There's a good thing and bad thing, so yeah. Let's go to the keypad then you can see all the, the their, their first party app it have a soft key there's a menu button and back button it also works with the button as well but you can click on the screen as well so let's look at the core settings then you can see display option so you can sort by the first name or last name and name format as well and sound and vibration it will go to the sound setting so this one I will go in depth review of sound of uh, the setting apps so you can check that one and quick re response you can pick and for the calls there's a FDN settings I'm not sure what is FDN setting is say like GSM semicolors like service mode something like that but not sure about that one and if your carrier support then you can use Wi-Fi calling uh, call forwarding like those basic call settings and here you can see the uh, caller ID which is if you hide your number then it will show private number so you cannot see the your phone number but if you change to network default or show number I mean my network default is showing I think almost every network then it will be like there will like you can see the uh, phone number and if it's on the this contact so that's why you see the name as well and you can block numbers you can block number from it's not in your context or you can add number or you can do the call recording so you can turn on the automatic call recording then you can choose all number or listed number in the list number you can see all the number you listed or you can set as a unknown numbers as a uh, automatic call recording and that's it and if you type the numbers then their settings are different you can add to the new contact or you add to the, the exist contact or you can send message and there's a like add two second pause and you know, add wait but i don't know what is it because when i click it there's comma this one is semicolon i don't know what it what it is but it's there go back to the the full core history then you can see all the core history and also you can see the missed call and you can if you select then you can send a message block the number and call detail then you can see all the detail and you can copy the number as well so if you need share it's easy to share and of course you can call it by the pressing the call button or press and hold to copy number edit number before call or block number and you can delete it and in here you can clear the call history and go to call setting as well and right now my network is not so great but if you go to the place where support the your LTE then there is a little HD icon next to the mobile so you can 
see which one was a HD voice, which one was not. And let's go to the music app since they put the dedicated music button shortcut, which is you cannot replace. When you click it, then you can see the the previous uh, played music, and there's a songs all the songs the MP3 file you you have, and by the artist albums playlist and my recording which is record from the voice recorder and the settings you can quit the one of reason they put the quit is like a before touch is 5.0 when you enter the music app even you go back the music app is still there so you have to even this one is of course it's gonna be here so you have to quit the music app in order to actually quit so that's one bad thing i i believe because it's kind of lazy to go here and click the quit but if you go to the ui in the player then you can see the name of the music and there's a media player for the copyright let's mute it and you can <clears throat> ah. this happened again but this one is sometimes it's buggy. It's sometimes I click one time, but it's recognized as a, I click two times. So let's quit. Ah, crap. Let's quit and then go back. Mm, it's still like that. Okay, whatever. You can click <laughs> to play or you can press and hold to go forward, backward, volume down, volume up. Then you can click the next music previous music something like that ah and there's a you can turn the shuffle then it's gonna change to shuffle mode you can shuffle up then it's gonna be rotate and you can repeat just this song or every songs and you can add to playlist you can share this mp3 file delete it or set as a ringtone but this one does not support the the timer thingy so after one hour the music is automatically stopped those kind of stuff yeah this very bugging me but it is what it is and sound recorder is pretty straightforward record pause resume stop and at the menu is show all the list it's not only the voice recording it also record the show the phone recording so you can check in here and of course you long press to delete it rename it where you can see the file path so if you connect to a usb and try to copy the file that will be useful and one thing realize is like the file name for the recording is just year month day and time in 24 hours system and it's all the hyphens but for the phone call there's a phone number in front of it and the date date information is connect with the underscore or the hyphen and then date to time it connect with the underscore and then time is with the period i don't know why yeah it's kind of weird i think why they didn't make it same as a hyphen i don't know and let's go to the contact i usually use the google contacts but for this one default app let's see in here you can see the other contact and there's search bar but you cannot access with your key so you have to touch or go to menu search contact like that and there's a sim card icon you can see there's no icon which means it's stored in the phone and let's oh and also you can of course multiple select and select all this select all share delete link those kind of stuff and you can create new contact or you can search share delete and go to settings which is you can set up your information your profile and if you want to save the thing where you want to save as a the contact the default the store either your phone or sim card and you can customize the display settings 
and sort by name format, import, export, block numbers, straightforward. Now, remote the app. So this one, before the Samsung Galaxy S4, they have a, this IR LED remote, and LG and many Android phone has it, but now they re or remove it. So I tried to connect it because they support like AC, fan, TV, box, set of box, projector, camera, DVD, air cleaner, water heater, and power amplifier, and light. But unfortunately, my what I have the I the support li remote is monitor, and monitor is not here. And I try using it as a TV, doesn't work. And since you can see, since it's Chinese brand, so common brand, high sense like all the oops, all the Chinese brand on the top, and pretty much that's it. And the setting is change the like country and stuff, and oh, and shortcut. Oh, uh, this one is kind of little interesting feature because I try to use it first time i don't know how it works but now i found out that let's delete and customize go to setting so for example i want like this gesture oh you need to click the star i want this gesture and then let's save and since this one is going up page up right so let's go to keep it up next just random names okay so it's saved so let's go to internet then when i click the up it worked that scroll thing so yeah it's pretty useful sometimes and weather this weather app is not like using gps data and stuff it just you need to add cities but thing is it's all chinese city shanghai and some bunch of cities in here and you can delete the cities and you can refresh and you can see see the uh, future weather as well so yeah but other side of uh, China maybe it's kind of pointless because cannot show your uh, city weather and let's go to camera so this camera is basic camera you can left and right to change to picture to video or you can up and down to change the front face camera or not and there's a setting button but you cannot access with this button so if you go to settings you can see the scene mode you can choose oh it's because of video mode <laughs> let's go to photo no wonder it doesn't have a lot of the mode in the video as uh, in the picture there's an anti shake self timer 2 or 10 picture size 8 5 3 and it's all 4 by 3 ratio that's interesting and zsd i wonder what it is and i search it and it said zero shutter delay but it, either you turn on or off turn off I don't know, it's, to me it feels exactly the same. And there's a white balance option, but the thing is, okay, let's try to take a picture of this one. And let's try shade. Uh, it's kind of too yellowish, so let's go back. White balance, cloudy, too yellow too. This, I don't know, why, why, is the UI is not really. Oh, not really good. It's like very annoying. If you want to change the white balance, you have to go to the menu and change the white balance and you have to go back to the time to see. Hmm, yeah. And there's a anti flickery as well. So how is the photo quality? It, even though UI is not so good, photo quality is good, then it's all good, right? Then how, what about the photo quality? I tell the previous video, the photo quality is not so good. The real camera, which is f2.8 aperture with 3264 by 2448 
resolution but does not have OIS so the, even I turn the anti-shake it's a pretty shaky photo especially night and when it's dark area too much noise and it's hard to take up uh, get a focus right focus and of course it's a hard time getting macro shot and does not even have HDR future so in the beautiful weather the skies are beautiful but the object the tree is become black and let's see so I tried to find something good thing about this camera and one thing is it have a wider angle compared to Galaxy or iPhone but thing is these day almost every camera have a wide angle camera so yeah for the video is can record up to 1080p for HD and you you can see in the video mode if you start recording then you can pause resume and you can take a picture as well this picture is 1080p as well because captured from the video And this weird placed the front face camera is same aperture as a back camera, rear camera, which is f2.8. Is maximum uh 1600 by 1200, so uh 1 1.9 megapixel. And it's same as the iPhone 13 Pro. It's a fixed focus. And the main problem is not a good location but even though it's in the good location probably the photo quality don't expect too much since it's worse than real camera uh, from from facing camera it can record up to 70 720p hd video and same for like if you capture middle of the video then it's gonna be 720p as well so what about the gallery of that or the picture you can access from from camera gallery app is like nicely laid out in album in the settings you can switch to camera or you can select the albums and if you select then you can share delete and instead of the album you have an option too you can also switch the camera and you can see the slideshow you can select items and you can group by location or time and if you go into the no oh, it's a video that's why if you into the picture then you can share the list slideshow edit in the edit there were a bunch of filter a bunch of frames and you can crop it or like the give a little angle rotate mirror you can draw stuff and you can change the like brightness and stuff contrast like those kind of stuff it's basic basic app but funny thing is there's a crop option okay and there's a you can set this picture as a contact picture or you can set up as a wallpaper and you can see in the detail resolution those everything and now let's go to the messaging app so in the message app uh, you can make a new message you can type and you can insert quick text and I found out there's a next door uh, there's no space this one I made space but usually it doesn't have a space like this and you can insert a uh, contact as subject so if you want and you can attach the things files or you can discard and you can delete and go to settings 
their text or SMS, the message setting. So you can request delivery report and you can manage SIM card. And you can edit quick text. So let's edit this one now. I want some space. Hmm? Ah, this keyboard is dead again. Let's try again. Yeah, this. Okay. All good. And SMS service center number. Message storage location, phone or SIM card. And MMS, you can make a group messaging or request delivery report or and you can request read report and send read report. And yeah, those like roaming, those size and notification, you can choose you, you wanna receive notification or not and more detailed option in here. And general, you can see like the font size or cell broadcast and WAP push. And all the sub menu is just def uh, restore default settings. So nothing special. And SIM toolkit, my, my carrier does not support, so that's why it doesn't have it. And there's a Dochin uh, translator, but if you try to use it, then you need to make a account from Dochin. And you can do like conversation kind of stuff or you can using camera to translate like a google translator and since they don't have google play store and stuff so they have their own app market and there's like education section for like 167 apps and that's like famous chinese app and there's give us like recommendation application and i think this is like one of the popular chinese the messenger app but download is like less than 10,000. So I guess even in China, this phone is not that popular for sure. And you can see all the app you installed is not download from here. You can even you install from APK file is show up in here. And funny thing in setting, you can choose server, main server and backup server. That's interesting. And a uh, chin guard which is like for the like kids protection app kind of stuff so you is using gps locations to see where your kids are you can track your kids <laughs> and there's app management to make sure your kids don't use or youtube whatever those kind of stuff more than two hours whatever you can set limit those kind of stuff and calculator this is where build calculator app for the keypad there's not Fancy feature like uh, calculating tips or convert those kind of stuff, but it's doing their ba uh, basic stuff. I plus divide by five seven fifty seven one times blah 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 blah. Cool. Uh, no 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 no. Yeah, it 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 do it's basic so straightforward. And calendar is easy to see calendar let's go back to today you can go back to today and you can if there's a event you can see the list of course you can create event and if you view is just go into the, this one this one or and you can select date ah this one that's some oh, okay then it's go back to the year you select and clock for the clock app is basic alarm work clock timer and a stopwatch but you can see there's a little animation going on shop 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 but or you can using the keypad to you can still see the animation but funny thing is if you swipe there's no animation that's interesting anyways when you go to alarm uh, you can select the repeat date or uh, vibrate ringtone or you can delete it and of course you can create new one so let's in one minute 
and it's early, it's coming soon, then you can dismiss right away, like so. And work clock, you can add other place. Let's go with this one. Then it's add up. And timer is 3, 4, maximum uh, 25 hour and 1 minute. But you can add every minute onto here so you can do as much as possible, I guess. And you can also add different timer. Let's do 59 minutes. Add more timer, 80, uh, 58 seconds, and you can delete. And their stopwatch is just basic stopwatch. Lab is gonna be round thingy. Oops. Lab, lab, those kind of stuff. And let's go to this, uh, menu. There's a screen saver, and there's settings. In the settings, you can change the digital to analog, then this clock app become an analog. Let's change to digital, and if you don't want to show seconds, then you can turn it up. And home clock is default home time zone is Beijing, but if you want to change it, then it's, you can change, and this home will be your time zone. And and for the silence, after 10 minutes, like this is for the alarm. So if alarm ring 10 minutes and no one's gonna turn up, then it will just automatically silence after 10 minutes. A uh, snooze, like 10 minutes after, or one minute, up to 30 minutes. Oh, uh, you can increase the volume over time. You start with the quiet and getting louder and star week on Sunday or whatever you prefer and timer sound you can choose timer sound same same menu and all vibration as well and there's sync assistant which is similar to the like Samsung smart switch those kind of stuff I think it's like sync with the contact and messenger those kind of stuff with the Dolchin's account Nothing interesting. And marching is like there's like regulation and stuff. If I disagree, then it's all make quit. So I search on the web and I found the the little iOS app store also have the same app. So I asked one of my Chinese friend and he said it's it's like a Chinese messenger, but it's not that popular, I guess, because he never heard about it. And since it's Chin, so probably it's messenger made from this company, I believe. And there's Mi AI, which is like a Bixby or Siri or Alexa, those those all good Google uh, voice assistant. But interesting thing is is connect with the Xiaomi account. And as a name suggests Mi AI, so Xiaomi's AI. So when you try to do it, Let's give me some. Yeah, it says something in Chinese, but I don't understand. So I guess you need to set up the account or something, I guess. I, I'm not sure. Ni hao ma. Ni hao. 见到你真高兴,果然不仅春光要趁早,见面也要趁早呢。你修不修中国人? 中国人,龙的传人。So, yeah, so that's it for the, for the basic apps, the first party apps. And hopefully you enjoyed this video, and next time, let's go deeply in the settings app. Thank you so much, and see you in the next video.